Let's generate PDF documents in Flutter with multiple pages, graphics, images and texts and tables. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started by generating PDF documents and therefore we will make use of this package PDF. And the best thing is that you can use normal Flutter widgets and out of these Flutter widgets the PDF document is generated. Therefore let's start easy and we start by simply generating first of all a PDF document with a centered text. To achieve this I have already created here an app with different buttons and now we want to create every time then a PDF document if we click here on one of these buttons. So let's get started by creating a simple PDF document and therefore I create here a new class PDF API and then you create here a method generate centered text and here inside we can then put the text inside which should be later displayed in our PDF document. Within this PDF API class we create then this method and here inside you create then a new document. And secondly we can insert a page to our PDF document and here you simply create then a page object. And within the build you can simply create Flutter widgets. So you can use here for example the center and then you create a text widget and this will then later be generated in our PDF document. And lastly we want to save this PDF document and return here a file object. Therefore I create a new method save document and here inside I put then the name of this PDF document inside and I also put the PDF document which we have generated itself also here inside. So let's create the save document method and here inside we basically call on our PDF document save to get the bytes of this document. And now we want to store these bytes and therefore I simply get here the application documents directory where we can store our file to. And then based on this directory path and our name which we have supplied for our document we create then a file object. And inside of this file we want to store then the bytes which we have got from our generated PDF document. And lastly we simply return here this file which we have generated. We also need to include some packages. First of all here this PDF package to generate our PDF and also we use here the file system therefore we also need to include another package. And therefore we go to our pubspec.jml file and here you need to add first of all this PDF under your dependencies inside and also this pass provider with which you then can save a file to the local file storage. Now let's go back here to this page with our four buttons and now we have completed the first step to generate our PDF document and we also want to display it right now and therefore I create here a new method open file and here inside I put then the file which we have generated. And now we can go back to this PDF API and here we want to create a new method open file. And this is then pretty simple. We simply get the file pass and we open our file pass with a package called open file. And therefore you also need to go again to your pubspec.jml file and here also put this open file package under your dependencies inside. And now we can try it out. So I click here on the simple PDF button and you see he opens then a PDF document which we have generated and this displays then the sample text which we have put inside of our document. A really important thing to notice here is that these are not real widgets because they come here from this PDF package and not from the Flutter library. And therefore it is really important that you put here this PDF document what you generate inside of a new class inside of a new file because if you use it here directly with Flutter together then you have here conflicts because we have here the same widgets within this import statement and also within this import statement. And as a small hint, if you want to use both import statements within the same file, then you need to add here an alias for this PDF package. And then you also need to put here every time this alias in front of every widget which you generate. Next we want to look at how we can create a more complex PDF document with headers, paragraphs, links, bullet points. We will also integrate custom fonts and also a footer here at the bottom of our page. Therefore if we click here on this button then we want to generate a more complex PDF document and here we create then a new API class where we also create a generate method and here like before we create a PDF document and we also save it at the end and return it as a file. And in between we want to generate then our pages and here you can then call again add page 
And this time we want to create a multi-page instead. And with the multi-page you can put this time a list of widgets inside and not only a single widget. And now we can for example create here a headline and also some paragraphs easily in our list. To create a headline you can create your own widget or you can also use here this header widget. And inside of it you put then the text inside which you want to display. And you can also use here the paragraph widget to display some strings. And I generate right now some strings and you can put here many paragraphs inside like you want. And now if we try it out you see we have here generated a headline and also three simple paragraphs. Next we also want to generate here a link and also bullet points within our PDF document. And therefore you can simply work like you do with Flutter in general. So for example you can create a new method to create your bullet points and then we create here a method which returns a list of widgets. And inside of this we put then three bullet points inside with three different texts. And secondly we also can create a link text and therefore you create another method for example and here you can use this URL link widget. And inside of it you need to supply first of all the destination where it should go if you click on this link and secondly also the text of this link. And with this we have generated here three bullet points and also our link. However the link doesn't look like a real link and therefore we also want to change it. Here within your text you can integrate a text style and then you put the color of your link to the color of blue and you also put here an underline inside. And like you notice if you want to make use of colors then you always need to put here this PDF in front because we use here this package PDF which works a bit different than the Flutter SDK. And with this we have now this link and we also can click on this link and then he will open inside of a browser this destination, in this case flutter.dev. Next we want to create our custom headline for example with a logo and a text or also like a totally different kind of headline. Therefore let's create here a new method to create a custom headline and here inside you create then again a header widget and here inside you put then your text. And now you can also customize here the text style so you can make it bigger for example, also give it a font of bold and you also can change here the color of your text. And secondly you can put here for example a background color for your header inside and I put it here right now to a color of red. And with this we have easily generated here our own headline and I have also integrated some padding around so that we have here some more space around our text. Let's also create a second headline and therefore I simply create here this time a text widget and around it you can always wrap for example a row, a column or whatever you like what you also use in Flutter. And then you can put for example a logo in front of your text and between the logo and text you can add also some space. And therefore you can always make your access of this PDF page format and here you can then access for example centimeters or you can also include here inches, millimeters or whatever you like. And with this you can then control the space within your PDF document. And with this we have created here a text and next to it we have created for example a logo. What you also can do is you can wrap here a container around and put here for example some decoration inside. So I put here for example a border under our text and this has then here a color of blue also. And I also can add some space between this border and our text. Therefore I also add here some millimeters of space between it. And with this we have now under our logo and our text here this border. We also want to look at how we can integrate a footer within our PDF document which then displays the current page number and also the total pages. To integrate this footer you go simply to your multi-page and here you have another property which is called footer. And here within this footer you can return a widget. So first of all we create here a text where we display then the current page number and also the total page numbers. And then you simply create here a text object and you can also give it some style. And what you also need to do is you need to align it to the center right corner so that it is here aligned to the center right. And if you like you can also add some space to the top so that we have more space between our page number and the content of our page. And with this we have now within our footer the current page number and the total page number and also if we scroll here down to the other page you also see here this footer. 
And lastly, we also look at how we can integrate here our custom font to our PDF document. And therefore, I have created within my Flutter project an assets folder and here inside I have placed a TTF file. And with this file, we can then load our custom font. And secondly, you also need to go to your PubSpec JAML file and here you need to include your assets under your Flutter tag inside. And now we want to load our font and therefore you simply take here your root bundle and load then the path of your font. So in our case, assets and then this name here. And now we can make use of this font and for example, create here a new paragraph and then you create a new text style with this custom font, which we have loaded before. And secondly, you also can modify your text style with all the other parameters. All right, and now if we try it out, you see that he has loaded here our custom font, which also includes then other characters, which we also can display within our text. And by the way, if you want to get here access to this whole source code, you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can get to the next level as a Flutter developer. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!